Hey gang, Fletcher here again with DJ Event Planner. This video, I'm gonna walk you through how to troubleshoot email issues. If you're having issues sending to a client or whatever it may be, this video is gonna walk you through how to identify uh, and hopefully resolve what those issues are. So to begin, the first thing that we need to do if we're experiencing email issues or if the system is telling us we need to set up our outgoing email server is we need to go do that. We need to go check our outgoing email server and make sure it's set up. And that's going to be found underneath setup email settings. And here you can see that I'm already being told the master administrator outgoing email server is not set up. So that would be something I need to resolve. We can also click expand for each employee level to see whether the outgoing server is set up or not. So here underneath the master administrator, you can see that the outgoing server is currently gray. That means the outgoing server is not set up. Here under the administrator's account though, the outgoing server is green, which means that server is set up. Now, if it's not set up, please make sure to check out our setting up your outgoing email server video or visiting one of the useful links down below in the video description. If the outgoing server is set up, the next step is to test that server connection. And to do that, we can click on the test employee connections button right here in the upper right above the different employee levels. When we click on that, it's going to take us to this page where we can select what employees we want to test. It is only going to show you employees that have the outgoing email server set up. We can either click on select all or select specific individual employees and then click on start test. It's going to run. It's going to let us know whether it was successful and it was able to connect as well as the connection time. If it's unsuccessful, it'll let us know as well that it was unable to connect as seen here. Now, if it's unsuccessful, that means we need to go back and edit our outgoing email server settings. So again, to do that, you'll go back to your settings, click expand, and then click edit next to outgoing server and then update those credentials. Now, if your server's connected and everything's good there, the next step is to run an email deliverability test. You can get there from this screen by clicking the email deliverability test in the upper right, or by clicking on deliverability up here in the upper, upper right. And that deliverability test will be found down here on the bottom right, and we're looking for the mail deliverability test. Click on start the test. It's going to ask to make sure that you're aware of what's going to take place. Click on OK. On this next screen here, we can select which employee we want to test. In this case, we're going to test the employee that has the outgoing email server set up, as well as we can select an email template that we'd like to test as well. And then once you click on Continue, it's going to show us what employee we're testing with what email server as well as the details of the email, the subject, and the body as well. And here at the bottom, we can click on Run Test. Now that's going to take us to Mail Tester, which we've set up for you guys. It's a third-party program that will tell you a couple different details about your email connection and your deliverability. And once this test has been completed, we'll be able to see those details. Great, we got a score of 9.5 out of 10, which is really good. Ideally, you wanna be as close to 10 as possible. And here now we can scroll down to see why we have a 9.5 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10. And here at the bottom, we'll find out, oh, we're in a block list and we're losing that half point for that. This, however, is okay. This is a Gmail email that I am testing. So please note if you use Gmail or Google Workspace with your own domain name, Chances are you will appear here with a block list in Sorbs. For whatever reason, every single IP address that Google has for email appears on the Sorbs blacklist and has so for many, many years. You can safely ignore this as it appears nobody uses Sorbs anymore on their inboxes to determine if an email is on a blacklist. However, if you appear in something else, that is something that you'll want to take care of and address. Important sections here to check as well is this your properly authenticated section. This will let you know that whether or not you have the proper authentication set up. You may be viewing this video because you received a bounced email stating that your email is not fully authenticated or the sender was not fully authenticated. If that's the case, please make sure you check out the link in the description to the text guide on how to resolve 
authentication issue regarding SPF, DKIM, and DMARC settings. And that's it. Really simple, easy way to check and test your email to make sure that your clients are going to be receiving their messages. Again, if you have any questions or you encounter any errors, make sure you reach out to our support staff via the support options in the left menu of your account. And you can connect with us via either live chat, the support forum, as well, if you're not a part of the Facebook user to user group, make sure you join that. It's just DJ Event Planner users group on Facebook. It's a great way to see what other users are doing as well as ask them quick questions. But please note support is not provided directly on the Facebook user to group. With that said, I hope this video helped you resolve your email issues. We look forward to seeing you on the next video and happy planning.